Hi again. Uh, we are continuing talking about my book. And in this video, I'll go briefly uh, and talk about carrying the Kazakh horse bow. And that's, by the way, is an information that mm, is often neglected in many uh, sources because everybody's so focused on bow construction and thumb release and thumb draw, draw and etc. that not a lot of people pay attention to how to properly carry a bow, how it should be strapped, where is where all the parts are located and etc. And because of that, I had to spend a lot of time trying to find how it was done correctly. And I looked at many sources. I studied miniature depictions. Uh, fortunately, there are, there is a very good drawing of Kazakh bow um, of 1862. This drawing was made by uh, our first Kazakh scientist, uh, scientist in a in a Western meaning of the word. Uh, he worked for Russian Empire for for Tsar. He was an officer, uh, intelligence officer. He was himself a Genghisid, uh, which of course, as you know, means that he was a descendant of Genghis Khan. So he was a very noble, educated, brilliant man. His name is Shokhan Walihanov. And he uh, left us a huge amount of uh, his uh, ethnographic uh, notes and drawings, very importantly. And one of these drawings depicts uh, the, the, the bow kit, the bow assembly, the typical Kazakh bow assembly. And looking at it, we understand that it's pretty much exactly like an assembly used by uh, Ottomans, by Crimean Tatars, and uh, in not in the shape, but in an idea, it's also similar to a Manchu bow. And basically what it is, is we have a belt, uh, and to it we have attached bow holster and bow quiver and uh, you know uh, in in Scythian Saka period they used system very different system that we know by name of Goritas and it was a bow holster and quiver combined together so bow and arrows in the same kind of assembly and that allowed uh, archers of that period to shoot both hands from both hands now when we progress to Kazakh Hanate era or even a few centuries before that the Golden Horde and etc at some point uh, that system morphed transformed into a modern more modern system where the quiver always goes on the right hip and the bow holster always stays on the left hip and uh, if you try carrying it this way oh and, and arrows uh, in the quiver always looking backwards so they are not uh, the, the, the fletching is looking backwards rearwards so if you try using this system, you will understand that, for example, uh, for speed shooting or any kind of shooting that involves drawing an arrow from a quiver and then shooting it, you can only do it with one hand. It's impossible to do it uh, with, with the left hand if you're writing. Uh, of course, we know from all the records that nomads of all periods would shoot both hands uh, equally well but for that perhaps a person would have to first grab a few extra arrows and then switch hands and then use his left hand uh, with that kind of assembly with, with I'm talking about later option with the hip on the right and bow holster on the left 
but overall it was uh, designed to shoot as a righty always always to the to the left side pulling uh, with the right hand and we have a, a very good uh, confirmation of this concept uh, the uh, the nomads used a tactical uh, maneuver called uh, Tulgama, Tulgama, and the way it's described is that they always try to flank the enemy uh, from the right side. And if you think about it, you realize that it was done so that they could shoot to their left. So a large formation, a large file of archers would try to uh, uh, go about their enemies on the right shooting to the left so that they can uh, shoot a lot of arrows rain the arrows at the enemy positions and you know i think it was also part of this optimization that started in hanik in han time uh, the, the same kind of trend that got Scythian both simplified and morphed it into a um, morphed it into hunt type bow and the same trend split the gorillas into a separate quiver and separate bow holster and it kind of simplified and you you you, you made a unified universal version of these flanking maneuvers by horse archers uh, in order to avoid confusion in other words they would always do it the same way and they got so good at it it worked perfectly so they probably didn't see a reason to change it and that's how it survived uh, for many many centuries and that's basically how it ended because the the, the last archers in in all uh nomadic states the manchu the kazakhs the jungars the uh the, the bashkirs kalmyks nogais turkmen karakalpaks they all used uh this kind of system uh, quiver on the right arrows uh, uh fletching facing rearwards and bow holster on the right side oh on the left side i'm sorry uh, both suspended on the same belt and that's how you carry or we all carry uh, any kind of bow uh, horse bow systems uh, suspension and every time we see <clears throat> a quiver attached to a back archer's back in the movies and and, and bow holster attached anywhere <laughs> just you know just ah, nobody will pay attention just you know attach it to a horse head or or horse hoofs who cares and this is not right because now that we studied this now that we experimented with it and we tried it on a horseback many times and i've spent hours on a horseback and hours on feet and you know weeks wearing this equipment it works perfectly we don't need to reinvent it we don't need to improve it that's the way it was done and it just doesn't get better than that and that's kind of it for the for this section um, we covered how to ha carry horse bow in case you still didn't know uh, i strongly uh, encourage you to look at your own equipment and see if it fits my description and if it doesn't yet you have to bring it kind of uh, to this shape uh, configuration if you of course you want to be authentic i'm not saying that this is a must and you know oh there is a canon i'm not an orthodox person but of course i would prefer to see all of us wearing it the way it's supposed to be and not just carrying you know fantasy quivers on the back and you know with two katanas or something so let's stay true uh, to the tradition and i think we will all look really really good because that's how it was done
Thank you.